Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. You guys have recommended this one a lot in the comments, so here it is. Today I'm going to be reacting to Taemin Move. My best mate Tiffany and you guys in the comments have told me that I'm going to love the fashion from this MV, so I'm super excited to see what Taemin is going to be serving up. On this channel, we're all about the looks, so if you want to find out what my favourite outfits are and delve a little deeper into the fashion from this MV, then make sure you stay tuned after my reaction. I post videos here on my channel three times a week, so if you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to be notified of my next reaction, which will be to NCT 127, as Simon says, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn the post notification bell on. Go on, I'll wait for you. And don't forget, if you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's get stuck in. Already from the thumbnail, I'm like, sexy, sexy. <laughs> Straight away getting a VHS vibe and it's sick. Takes me back to the 90s. Getting a bit of like a dystopian future vibe. Sexy. Take a small bite. I love that. Sexy. It's make. Is it giving me like an off-white vibe? This song is sexy, like the raindrops, he's working it. You guys weren't fucking playing in the comments. Tiffany, you was not playing. Say I'm gonna love the fashion. This look already is perfect. Like the wide black leg trousers, this black vest the hair like there's just something so like mysterious and sexy and that's the vibe i'm getting from the song like i literally would wear the shit out of this outfit that's the choreo as well like this is hot The mask, the sparkles, stop it. I'm loving everything about this. The mask is killing me. There's definitely like a dystopian future vibe to this. With like all of their faces being blurred out, like the street scenes. I am obsessed. Is this a big dance scene coming? Yes! Dancing in the rain, Taemin, you know my weakness. Ugh, the vest, the trousers, the little scarf, like, stunning. Oh, stop it. Like the sheer, the black clay, the way it moves, the taping, the shiny trousers. This outfit with the cutout. Stop. No, this is too much. Get those abs out, girl. Much. 
Also, there must have been so cold filming this, just like constantly wet all the time, and then still being able to like pull off this choreo. That's just dedication that's insane. The sh like the trousers are sheer as well, like ugh. That was sick. You guys were not fucking with me in the comments when you said the fashion in this MV. Like, today I'm sat here, I'm batch filming. We've done Wano, we've done Film Kai, Tame In, Move. These videos back to back are just killing me off. Like, ugh. I can't cope. The looks are too good. Straight from the thumbnail, I was like, Sexy. Sexy is the vibe. The video lived up to that. Sexy dystopian future. There we are. Let's go ahead and pull up my favourite looks. <laughs> Literally about 30 seconds in, the top that says, take a small bite. I love it. It's so whimsical. It's so funny. It's giving me like an off-white vibe. I don't know if it is. I can try and find out but just like the small details of it, like the neckline, the way it's straight so it doesn't warp the text and like the angle of the back of it is just so cool. Straight in with a belt there, team in. Looking really closely at the Take A Small Bite top, I think it's leather just because of the way that the seams look. The seams look like they've been sewn on the outside on purpose, like you can see the dark lines across his shoulder. This look here, the black vest with the black wide leg trousers, it is incredibly simple, but it's just the silhouette of it is so strong. Like the fitted top with his like really toned arms coming out, like you can't beat that. With the wide leg trouser, it just creates such a beautiful shape. It is very wearable in real life as well. And that's what I really love about like reviewing and analyzing the fashion from these videos. Like what can you like pluck out and take into your everyday life? Because these looks are so stylized. So it's nice to see something that is incredibly wearable, but it just fits in with this like dystopian vibe of the music video. I think what's also really interesting when you look really closely at that black top, the seam detail on it is in the same mustard yellow when it skips to the next scene of that satiny silky shirt that he's wearing. Like these videos have such a strong color palette and I think that is what makes them all so cohesive. Like you are literally linking colors of a seam to a shirt in the next scene. Like it's just so smart and so well done. This Daimonte mask covering the face, like, it's just so sick. And it's like, I know this video, I think it's like three years old at this point, And it just makes me think of quite a few collections from designers. Like I know McQueen have done masks like this. I think Givenchy have done masks like this. I'm sure there are more. Those are the two that are coming to mind. I feel like Prada might have, but I think Givenchy and McQueen are like the main ones that come to mind that have done masks in this style. It's just beautiful the way it hits on camera. There's like a creepiness to it like no identity, dystopian, you see where I'm going? Yes. <laughs> this outfit as he's walking over the train bridge. I want it. Like, I think it's the same trousers and the same belt that he's wearing from the all black outfit, but like the white shirt, it crosses over. It's got the cut out here. You can see a bit of his titty. Like it's just so good, so good. <laughs> And then you look at the detail of the sleeve, it's quite a big sleeve. And then he's got the open cuff, which is just creates more drape, more movement. I know he's just walking across the train bridge, but I think the thing when it comes to music videos, it's all about creating movement with the clothes. I do really love this sheer layered outfit at the end, like the white with the black over the top. And then there's like a sheer, like shimmery quality to the trousers. But what I really like about this scene is that at the start of it, he's not wet and like you see him like walking out into the rain and it's like very seductive and you see like the outfit like getting wetter and wetter and like more and more see-through. What is not to love about that? Like, <laughs> again with this outfit, you can see that there's like 
fabric ties and pieces that move when he dances. And at the end, you can see how sheer this outfit is. He must have been fucking freezing, but visually it is beautiful. If I'm gonna pick one favorite look from this MV, I think it would have to be the all black look, the vest with like the mustard yellow detail in the seam, and then the wide leg trousers with that belt with like the details that come out when he moves. Purely for the fact that it's so simple, but it's so effective. It goes with the dystopian future theme of the video. It ties into the next look in the next scene. It's just so smart, but it's so wearable. I could literally go to my wardrobe right now and recreate that outfit because I have those pieces. And that's what I love about fashion is like pulling out pieces that are wearable and creating your own version of it. Taemin, move, wow, what an amazing video for fashion. That was so sick. To me, it doesn't top 1-0 off of my top spot at the moment. Like those outfits are just like, sexy sexy if you've not seen that i'll put a card in the screen up here for you now tame in your outfits are sick the song is sick boy you can dance boy you are sexy <laughs> let me know in the comments what other tame in songs you'd like to see me react to and also let me know what other mvs have amazing fashion because i'll definitely have to check those out but what you should do next is check out my fashion expert reacts playlist I'll put a little card in the top hand corner for you. But thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far. You are brilliant. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.